Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment in our Avian Survival Series for Minecraft Origins. Today's video is going to be a little bit shorter, and I'm going to let you know that right off the bat. I am running pretty low on time, and uh, that's due to a lot of things that I'm uh, currently trying to work out. Uh, primarily, I think I've mentioned this in a couple of other videos, but I am involved in a community play that opens this weekend and there's a big rehearsal that's going on uh, later this evening uh, before opening night, which is tomorrow. So um, I did want to at least make sure that something happens and next week's episode, I won't be on as much of a time constraint, but what I would like to go ahead and do next uh, or in the next episode is head over to the nether and I think what's going to be best for us to do is reconstruct this nether portal that's over here. And I'll just kind of talk over that as we do it. I do have, or I need to go back and craft up a diamond pickaxe. But um, if you'll notice here, I didn't know that this is something that could really happen with the generation of these portals, but it looks like the portal itself used to be in this type of a configuration where it was up over this way and it's fallen over. And I actually think that that's super awesome uh, in terms of how it is laid out. So let's go ahead and place a couple of the obsidian blocks that we did collect from here previously. There are two of them that are meant to go right here to make up for these two that had fallen over. And then let's just see, we have one, two, three, four, let's see, is that five? That is five of them up that way. And that makes up for one, two, three, four, and five here. So there is one other block that needs to go up that way, plus the uh, crying obsidian that's right there that is uh, not good for our own use there. So we'll want to double back and grab a pickaxe so we can mine this up. We will get the crying obsidian, but unfortunately that does not work when it comes to making another portal. So we will want to uh, make sure that we go and grab a little bit extra, or we could probably even make this portal a little bit smaller uh, than what it was originally, but I'd like to be able to restore it uh, where possible just because I feel like that makes things a bit more authentic to what was intended, I suppose, with that. So I do have a water bucket on hand, so what I might go ahead and do is see if I can find some uh, lava that I can convert to obsidian in order to make that happen. But first, we've got to get back up to the house so we can make ourselves a diamond pickaxe. So the avian uh, play style should be well enough for us to go over to the nether. But I've been trying to theorycraft a couple of ideas for the Merling class when we eventually get around to that. Because Merlings, well, they have to live within water. And getting to the nether in water is uh, when you have to live in water is going to be tricky. I have a couple of ideas, but I am not looking forward to it at all. Um, so if you do have any thoughts or suggestions, be sure to leave those down in the comments below because uh, I am really kind of uh, freaked out about what that's going to entail here uh, when we eventually get around to that point. But uh, I will at least have the nether entrance ready for us to go when we get together um, in next episode. However, I will ideally have had some time to build up a little bit of my armor here. And we'll go ahead and collect up that gold block that was hiding underneath the crying obsidian as well. I don't know if that's a standard thing I, that happens with those uh, types of blocks. So I might have to investigate that a little bit further. I thought I put that in my hotbar, but I didn't. Um, so let's go ahead and get up here. And we'll match this height. And I do think that it was one more. So that will at least get us where we need to be. And even though 
this doesn't work for the portal. It should work in that configuration because the only important ones are these side elements here. So if we go ahead and light this portal with the flint and steel that I don't have on me, I actually don't think that I've made a flint and steel yet in this world, and there wasn't one in this chest. So we'll at least get the portal, and we won't do a whole lot of exploration, but I would like to see if I can at least get some nether quartz on hand, uh, mainly due to the fact that nether quartz is going to be handy for making observers and uh, I would like to have a couple of those to automate the sugarcane farm and a few other items there as well. So let's go ahead and make our way back over to the base so we can at least have, I think boots are the best way to go when it comes to having some gold armor on standby just in case and hope that we don't get an absolutely terrible spawn with the placement of where we'll end up in the nether there. I should also probably make a better staircase off of this side of the mountain since I do tend to run up and down it quite a bit and will be using it quite a bit to uh, go to that portal that we've just finished restoring down there. All right, we've got our flint and steel here. So let's go ahead and hop up, ignite our portal, and let's head through and see where it spits us out. Okay, so we were spent out in a warped forest, which I think is one of the safer places to be. Um, I mean, yeah, there's a bunch of endermen here, but as long as we are mindful of where we're looking, we shouldn't have too much to worry about. So we'll go ahead and grab a little bit of this quartz from the vein that is conveniently right next to our portal here. And then uh, we're just going to get back out of here because uh, there's no reason for me to stick around um, until we're actually ready for exploration, which will be after we have some protection on our gear. But that's actually um, not bad at all. We'll grab the last couple of quartz bits that are right here. Pretty sure that's a different vein entirely based off of how uh, these things tend to spawn. That was not what I meant to do there. And just like that, we've got the quartz that we'll need at least for now. And that was not what I meant to do. Huh, interesting. I didn't realize that uh, Endermen going through the portal will cause them to diagger at you, but that is good to know um, that you can bait them into that because I never either never knew that or never recognized it. Let's get out from under cover of darkness here and back to a place of relative safety. Well, like I said, today's episode is going to be a little bit shorter due to that time constraint, but I do hope that you enjoyed the little bit that we were able to get done here, and I promise that next week will be a lot more exciting with working with villagers, and if we have time, actually going in and making some serious progress out there in the nether. But if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure that you leave a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe and give me those thoughts of yours in the comments down below, as uh, that will greatly help me out with trying to figure out how we're going to handle that uh, next section or the one of our next playthroughs uh, when we eventually get to that point as I'm uh, quite concerned about how that's going to go over. But thanks again for your time and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.